Yes, this was the scene of last year's annual Westchester 4th of July parade downtown. Every year, organizers kick off the parade by firing a replica cannon. 23 ABC's Tim Callahan will once again serve as the parade's MC. A lot of fun. The parade begins at 22nd and Elm Street. Parade goers head east on 22nd, then take a ride at Pine, where the parade will end at the Bakersfield Racquet Club. There'll be swimming, hot dogs, a lot of fun for the kids. There'll even be a mobile Bloody Mary bar provided by La Costa. There you go. Event organizers are simply asking for a donation. All proceeds will go to Honor Flight Kern County. And if you want more celebrations for tonight, the Kern County Raceway wants you to come celebrate their fireworks celebration tonight. The show will begin at 7 p.m. More than 2,000 fireworks will be lighting up the sky above the raceway. To celebrate the 4th at Kern County Raceway, the tickets are $15 for adults, $10 for children, and seniors 65 and over. Those gates will open at 4.30. And if you need another option to watch the fireworks tonight, the Seven Oaks Country Club will be putting up their July 4th Spectacular. The fireworks show starts at 7 p.m., but reservations are required to attend. Just call 664-6404. And for more information about local events tonight, you can head over to our website, turntotwenty33.com. Fireworks won't be the only thing in the skies over Bakersfield. City fire crews will be taking to the skies to try and find illegal fireworks. The department will be using two drones to look for people firing them off. Anyone caught using illegal fireworks could face a fine of $1,000. They, as firefighters say, they simply have zero tolerance this year. Crews also want to remind everyone that piccolo peats and ground flowers are illegal in Bakersfield, but not in Kern County. And of course, don't forget your pets today. The 4th of July is like a quote war zone for them. The fireworks can scare many animals, especially dogs. More pets are lost on the 4th of July than any other time of year. The Animal Humane Society says dogs will do anything to get away and sometimes will end up injuring themselves. The best thing you can do is to bring them inside. You can use thunder shirts or even create white noise by turning on a noisy item like a fan to keep them calm when the fireworks go off. This will help drown out that sound. Also, be sure your pet has a name tag with a collar and phone number on it just in case it gets out. And fireworks are also causing worry for terror attacks this year. The prevention is a major focus in cities across the country. Police are assembling hundreds of sand filled trucks to stop any potential vehicle attacks where the drivers can plow into crowds. We have an inside look at how they're preparing in Boston. Check out the video from inside Boston PD's secret operation lab. You'll see it on your screen. Officers there will watch the crowd with drones this year for the first time ever. And over in Washington, D.C., crews are also lining the National Mall with big fences, which is also meant to stop vehicle attacks. The 4th of July is a big day for spending. New research suggests Americans will be going all out today for this holiday. According to WalletHub.com, 27.6% of those surveyed plan to buy more patriotic merchandise today, and more than $800 million will be sent on fireworks alone. More than $7 billion will be spent on food, including $150 million on hot dogs. And of course, don't forget the beer. The sales are supposed to be high as well today. Thank <laughs> you.